Hey there everybody, in this video we're going to talk about a few tricks that I use to get a lot more done, especially as I've been um, creating tons and tons of more content than usual, and I can see this going on for the foreseeable future. I think it's really, really important to be extremely efficient with your time. So we're going to get into some tricks that are very helpful for me in creating tons of content and actually achieving the things that I want to be doing. My name is Brandon Brashears. I create daily digital marketing videos here and I also vlog about creating my business. So if you're looking to grow your brand or your business with digital marketing, this is a great place. I talk about everything from SEO to PPC to email marketing to AdWords to Facebook ads. Basically, if it's related to digital marketing, I talk about it here. All right, let's talk about getting stuff done. I think this is extremely important because you have to be very frugal with your time. You need to be spending it on things that are very important and help to grow and move your business forward. I think content is a huge part of that. The problem with that is that a lot of times you can't outsource it, especially if you have a personal brand, you have to be the one that creates it. So how do you get more done in a short amount of time so that you can focus on things that are important? I'll tell you a few tricks. The first thing that has been very helpful to me is that I used to stay up typically till at least three or four in the morning every single day and I would grind out stuff. But what I ended up happening was I was very tired. Um, I would oftentimes like feel like anxiety a lot of times just because I was super tired and I would drink lots of caffeine. And it would help to fuel a vicious cycle of constantly being tired, kind of feeling like I was worn out. And then also I didn't have super amounts of creativity or pr productivity. I find that if I get a good amount of sleep, I'm able to be far more productive, think a lot clearer, think more quickly, and get more done in a shorter amount of time. So getting the right amount of sleep for myself has been extremely, extremely important. The second thing that I try to do is I know that if I can get typically everything that I have to do done between the, the time I wake up and typically 10.30 at the latest, I know that I'm going to have a very, very productive day. So I don't try to get everything done. My to-do list isn't huge every single day. I know that I have to create content, that's non-negotiable. And then I also have to get client work done, that's non-negotiable. So I prioritize client work, I have my assistant do things that I need her to be doing and her to be working on. And this way, the stuff that's urgent and important, like if I have an email campaign that I know is going out tomorrow, it needs to be done before 10.30 in the morning the previous day. And then after that, I know that I'm gonna have lunch with my kids, I'm gonna have things that come up throughout the day that are going to derail my day, but if I can get things done beforehand, and that way, if it doesn't get done, if something's important and doesn't get done, then I will have the rest of the day to work on it. So typically, early rising, getting going right away first thing, and then using my time wisely to really, really focus in. If you wake up at like six o'clock, and then you work from six to 10.30, that's four and a half hours, you'd be amazed at how much you can get done with really, really focused work, especially if you know what you need to do from the night before. There's no guesswork. You're clear on it and you get going. I think that's a super powerful tool. Try to get it done first thing in the morning and then make sure that if you have appointments or meetings that they're very productive and that you're not wasting time. I know that time meetings with uh, clients can often be a time, time waster and a time suck. So don't jump into meetings, especially if you need to get things done early in the morning because it can slip away from you. I find that typically after it's noon, it's like, man, the day just slips away and it's gone. So making sure that you're very clear on what it is that you're doing the next day. And then the other thing that I found has been really, really helpful is that I frame certain things and activities like content creation, for example, that's non-negotiable. It has to get done every single day and it's built into my schedule. So if you're somebody who's struggling to get content done or you know do different activities that you know are important for your business, you have to make them non-negotiable. And every single day, if you're not doing something in your business, that means it's not important to you. That's basically the bottom line. If you want to do something, find a way to do it. Schedule it out and get it going. I think that it's very, very, very important that you're creating content regularly to help grow your brand and your business. So those are just a few things. The other thing that has been really helpful too is that any time possible, whenever, especially because I work inside of um, Facebook a lot, Whenever possible, and I use tools that help me to do this, I stay away from things that I know are time sucks. And so, for example, 
when I used to go on Facebook and run ads and things, I would always get distracted by being on Facebook. It draws you in and you get going. So making sure that I'm using Ad Espresso, I don't have to log into Facebook. I can go right into Ad Espresso. I can get ads running, get ads up and monitor things in there. Same thing with AdWords. Uh, AdWords isn't as bad because you go to google.com slash AdWords, but I have a desktop app that I just open that up. I don't even have to open a browser. I'm not gonna get distracted by YouTube or something else. So cutting out distractions and forcing myself to actually work inside of the programs that are gonna get a lot more done is also very, very helpful. I would love to know what are some of your favorite tips and tricks. Please be sure to comment below. I would love to hear what they are, but I hope this was helpful for you. I know it's not directly digital marketing related, but hopefully you'll be able to use this in your brand or your business to get more done. Thanks for watching everybody. See you on the next one.